Well, hello everyone. I'm Marion, the Inappropriate Artist. And if you saw my last video, I did a little teen time miniature of the Pattern Alice Hall. Lovely little one. But at the beginning of the video, I had a little drawing over my shoulder on the board. Well, there's the finished painting. And here I am going to cut to the big reveal. <laughs> And good news, that painting is already sold. I will be taking that to the post office in the morning. So thank you, Sabrina. And I, it makes me so happy uh, that these little paintings have been moving like hotcakes. At least as far as art can move like a hotcake, right? <laughs> so what's on the table next, I think? A value study and it's going to be another uh, painting of Paternalis Falls pardon the motor if somebody just pulled up uh, and the rocks in the water I just there was a lot of I there's one particular image where I kind of cropped in and some interesting details I think it would be fun to do a value study of it and since I've been sharing all my value studies on Instagram lately, I thought it would be fun to do a video of a value study. So, yeah, can I say that one more time? Value study. <laughs> all right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> and once again, I didn't turn on the camera until I was part way. <laughs> One of these days, I'll start at the beginning. I love doing these value studies. They've really broadened my abilities to move quickly through the landscape, composing, just using the light as my guide, uh, and staying with the concept of just looking at the shape in the landscape. So looking for the trapezoids and the triangles and all of the planes that occur and where my vanishing point is. And with this, to the left where the tree is, is kind of my vanishing point. Um, Everything sort of starts out pretty linear on the right side and moves into a tighter point to the left. And it gets a little smaller. And I really went a little crazy and heavy on that particular spot. However, I think it did work out. I blended it nicely in the end. the little trees with this massive brush I'm using, which doesn't look massive maybe in my hand, but when you're working with tiny details like this, it feels massive. Although it is really giving me um, the ability to control my mark making better. As you can see there with just a little fine detail of a branch. And then I remembered I'm doing a value study, not a detail study. So <laughs> let's not get wrapped up in the details. Loading up my brush to get some more shadow in there. Uh, you know, another beautiful thing about these value studies, they help me to let go of the finished result you know I'm not doing this as a, my in my brain as a finished painting although many of them when I'm finished with them I feel like they are 
Um, in my head, what I'm doing is creating muscle memory and just really um, memorizing the landscape as best as I can and giving myself uh, time to observe how the water moves, where all of the pieces that kind of come together, the sloping of the rocks and you know, just little minor details that end up really popping that foreground. You know, just little things that when I'm working in color, it's, it's presumed almost to a certain extent. And with just using washes of a black, I am forced to only put in what is necessary. And even in this painting, I may have gone too far <laughs> as far as that goes. But you know, I'm getting better at it. <laughs> I'm so grateful you all joined me today. If you liked today's video, you can give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you'd consider doing so. And if you'd like to contribute to the journey, I'd really, truly appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day. All of my links are below in the description. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.